What's up guys and welcome back to this Mercedes minibus motorhome conversion and today's job I'm going to be fitting in the 240 volt hookup into a consumer unit and this is going to be powering uh, any electrical sockets that are going to be connected while you're on 240 volt hookup while on the campsite or while at home as well and I'm also going to be running one of the cables from the Victron inverter through the consumer unit as well just to double protect any feeds that are coming off from the inverter as well now as you can see I haven't even got the uh, hookup point mounted in yet I'm about to go out and start cutting into the bodywork to get this mounted I'll show you where this is going to get mounted in a second as well now as you can see on the consumer unit I've gone for the double pole throughout that's the uh, newer regulations in regards to motorhomes and camper vans if you're buying from a professional conversion company everything should be double poled so that's what I've gone for in here as well rather than just for the single pole Everything's pretty much already wired inside as well, so it's just a case of getting it all connected up, getting this uh, connected, uh, drilled through and cut into the bodywork, get all the wires fed through, get it all connected up into a couple of sockets, get some tests run, just make sure that everything's 100% working correctly, and then by the end of this video we'll have a fully finished, fully fitted 240 volt, volt uh, electric hookup working in the minibus conversion. So I'm going to get some safety gear out, some tools out, start cutting into the bodywork to get the hookup point connected into the uh, side of the bus. Then we'll get the cables fed through, fed up into the consumer unit. Now this is going to be getting fitted into what's pretty much going to be a dedicated electrics cupboard in the kitchen area. As you can see I've got the Victron uh, Multi Plus Compact in there for the inverter and battery charger. I've also got the MPPT Victron for the two solar panels on top as well. I've also got the 12 volt cable in as well. This is still part way through, so still a couple of little bits uh, that still need tidying up, but as you can see, I'm trying to do it all as tidy and nice, and nice and neat as possible. And by the time everything's fully finished in, I'll give it one last quick tidy round, clip round, and it'll be nice and presentable as well. So we'll get the consumer unit mounted in the cupboard, we'll get the hookup point mounted in the bodywork, and then we'll have some work on electrics. Now I'm going to be mounting the hookup point just on the lower panel on the outside of this bus. I've already got a couple of uh, dropout holes in the floor cut just above this area, so it's going to be a nice easy fit. Fit the hookup point in there. I'm going to be foot, uh, fitting a wooden bracing plate behind it as well, just because this is pure fiberglass at the bottom. So to avoid any pressure when you're pulling out the hookup point, I'll just have a ply sheet behind there just to uh, separate off the stress of it. Then the cables are just going to be fed straight up through the holes that are already in the floor into the consumer unit. So we'll get this hole cut out and we'll get this mounted in. Right, so now the hole's cut, I'm just going to get the cables connected first, just because it'll be a lot more of a pain to do once it's mounted through. Then I'll get this pushed back through, get the ply attached to the back side, and get it screwed through. Get the cable fed back through to the consumer unit, get that wired in, and we're almost getting there. Now I know I don't have to on this because on the other side of this panel it just drains straight off, there's nothing there, but I'm still going to run a bead of sealant all the way around, just for peace of mind as well. Right, so there we go, that's all of the electric hookup all wired in now. I've got my main orange arctic grade cable going down underneath the flooring into the hookup point. That's going up into the consumer unit, and as I mentioned earlier on, I've got the main RCD trip out, and then I've got three dual pole MCBs rather than the single pole. All of the current regulations stipulate that you're supposed to have dual pole in any motorhomes or caravans for new builds. 
that's professional builds but it's still going to be best practice to try and follow that regardless so that's what I've gone with for here so I'll put links for everything that I've put into this build in the description the hookup point, the consumer unit and all of these dual poles as well just in case you want to fit something similar yourself as well so now all that's in place and I've got all of my plug sockets and pretty much all of the Victron stuff wired in as well that's full 240 volts fully operational now I've got a 240 volt and an inverted uh, socket inside the cupboard and again the same above in the kitchen area as well now inside here I've also got a couple of cables that's going to be for the water heater and for the fridge I've put those in here so they can be flipped between hookup or the inverter depending on which one you want to power them by because both of them should be able to run off this inverter because they're not stupidly high power draw so if I nip outside and just plug in the hookup I've already got a cable out as you can see and this just plugs straight into the uh, hookup point so with the electrics connected now I should just be able to run a few tests and to run tests I normally just run a quick little lamp small power drawers just to make sure everything's working okay so if I plug it into the 240 volt there's the lamp on which is lovely take it out and test it on one of the other sockets as well and we have a working lamp as well so that's the 240 volt fully wired up and I can always run the RCD test just to make sure it trips out as you can see just pushing the test button cuts all of the electrics to all of the 240 volt and then just flip it back up and it'll reset it so there's fully working 240 volt electrics with some sockets wired in as well so the inverter is also wired to the RCD uh, sorry to the consumer unit as well just for added protection for when it's going to be on the charger while it's on 240 volt just to be sure there's going to be no spikes going through now obviously the inverter does also provide 240 volt power via the battery bank as well so if I put it onto the inverter setting turn that on and this socket to the right is fed by the inverter so if I take it off the 240 volt I can even trip out the 240 volt hookup and it should still work off the inverter so there we go there's no 240 volt hookup connected because it's all tripped out from the RCD so that's still 240 volt working directly from the Victron inverter as you can see I've got a nice green light on there so it shows that's all working as well so I finally got fully working 240 volt electrics wired into the van as well as the full Victron inverter as well as I say I'll put links to pretty much everything that I've used within the electric build in the description of the video below so have a look there if you want to be fitting something similar yourself the external hookup point the distribution box the dual pole MCBs even things like the Victron Multi Plus Compact Inverter and the Victron MPPT Charger so everything's wired in everything's working so it means now I can finally start to do the final fit out with the build including the additional final sockets going along where the kitchen unit's going to be but I'm quite happy and pleased with how that's turned out relatively simple straightforward build just reset the RCD and plug it back in onto the hookup point that's working again there as well so that's how I fitted my 240 volt hookup point into a metal clad lined distribution box fed by RCD and dual pole MCBs fed through to some 240 volt sockets and down to an inverter to power, uh, provide 240 volt when you're not on hookup as well so I hope you found this video useful if you did have a look at my channel there's Lord, like quite literally nearly 200 videos on my channel now showing different camper van builds, different jobs going through all the different builds, this, that, the other. Have a pop over to my brand new website, thecampervanbuilder.com. On there, all of the docu uh, all of the conversions I've done are fully documented on their own individual pages as well. So pop over to thecampervanbuilder.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and have a look through the previous uh, videos as well. And there's going to be plenty more to come with this build. As you can see, it's cracking on quite nicely. But at least now I've got some electrics in. I might be able to do some work during the night when it's getting colder and darker outside. So, as I say, that's the 240 volt. All in, all wired in, working. 
I'm happy with that, quite pleased with how it's turned out, looking nice and neat inside the cupboard as well. So give the video a good old thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video of the series. Thanks for watching, cheers.